So big brands, they have the budgets to hire agencies. That's fine. I get that. Maybe let's talk about small business for mm -hmm. just a second. What would you say specifically, if we're just starting from ground zero, what would you start with? Like pick the platform for us and then pick a possible scenario about sure. why we would start creating content and how we could start using that. The, way I, the thing I always tell people to start at, while I hate going on a specific platform, is I always tell any business who wants to get started to set up a blog. Whether, in, whether it's your website that's all populated by a blog or it's just a piece of your website. By setting up a blog, you've now given yourself the platform to publish every type of content on. every sort, And it's on your website so you control it. And by starting that, you can start answering questions for your customers. Or if you're a nonprofit, explaining where the money goes. You know, you can, Everybody can start with that sort of content. So one of the things that you said that was significant, I want to underscore, is build that content on your own platform. So if you build it on Mark's website or on Jack's website, it's Twitter or Facebook, they own it and stuff changes, it does all the time. Right. Build it on your own website so you've got control of it. And the other thing I heard you say was, it's great to interact with folks. So I think the difference between, I mean, there's no web 3.0, but you know, web 1.0, 2.0, yeah. the transition, evolution, has been this two-way dialogue, right? Where it used to be just one way. We put up a, a website. Mm -hmm. We throw up information. It was like an online catalog. But now we've got this ability through blogs and other platforms to engage one-to-one, -one, right? You definitely. And you want that conversation to be happening on your platform whenever possible. You know? And it is important because those other sites you were talking about, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, that's rented land. It's, you don't control it, and it could go away tomorrow, or they could start charging for it. Or Remember when everybody was on MySpace? I mean, I know they're trying to come back. But by having it on your domain name, whatever your domain is, that's building credibility for you, and it's building the traffic for you. All the search engines you know, are coming to your site. And you're exactly right. Customer comes to you, or a potential customer has that question, they can ask you well, what about this? And you can answer them and talk to them. And things like Twitter are great for that back and forth conversation. But if it's, a, if it's in the comments of your blog, other people see that too. They see, oh wow, this store is talking to their customers. That's great. That's who I want to do business with. Yeah. It's that yeah. small town helpfulness.